Welcome to Polymer Clay TV. I'm Kira and today I'm going to show you how to use an armature to create this fun little fall pumpkin project. To make this little pumpkin I'm going to start with aluminum foil. We've had a lot of questions lately about armatures and one of the things that people ask about is using something like a polystyrene ball or other things for an armature when aluminum foil is probably one of the easiest things to use. So to do this, you're going to want to crumple it up in a ball. And since my pumpkin's going to be sort of short and squat, I'm just going to pay attention to the size and shape that I'm doing here. You want it to be fairly compact, so you might need several layers before you build up the size that you want to use. This is just so that my pumpkin isn't solid clay. Sometimes solid clay will crack from cooling and heating. I've added another piece to the outside of that just to make this whole thing a little bigger. And I'm giving it that little divot in the middle because it is going to be a pumpkin and I want to be able to have a place for a stem. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is coat this whole thing with white glue. Elmer's glue and a paintbrush will work just fine. I'm going to put on a nice thick coat and let it dry. The glue is going to dry clear, and then we're going to take some clay, which I've rolled out. This is souffle, Sculpey souffle in pumpkin. Very conveniently, it comes in a pumpkin color. So I conditioned it and rolled it out, and I'm just going to cover this little shape with a layer. And the, the white glue is just going to help the clay stick to it. So I'm just going to cover it and smooth it out. Souffle is a pretty soft clay, so you can really just kind of work it with your fingers. Work those seams until they disappear just by rubbing and smoothing. And then if you see any parts that are more lumpy than you wish they were, you can always add a little more clay. Like if there's a, a hole or a thing that you wish was not so a crevice that's too deep or whatever because we're going to be covering this with a decorative layer in a minute. So just work on getting a nice shape that you like and smoothing out the seams until you're happy with how the whole thing looks. Now for the decorative outer shell of the pumpkin, I used the Baroque Swirl Silkscreen and some Color Shift in Green Flash and I silk screened the design onto another piece, a thicker piece of the pumpkin clay. And now I'm just going to use a flexible blade to cut out some football shapes to put around the pumpkin. Before I actually cut up the silk screened piece, I'm going to practice on this piece just by cutting some curved shapes and seeing how much I need. I'm going to kind of eyeball it to see how much I need to go around my pumpkin shape because I want to go like this and I want to be able to gently press this on and create that the shape of the pieces going around the squash and this actually was pretty good so this will be my sort of piece that I measure everything else against. So basically I'm just going to make these curves a 
out of this decorated clay and go from the top around to the base of the pumpkin and just gently press it so that each section of the pumpkin is going to look like that. And I'm not going to smooth the seams. You'll see why in a little bit. And just keep going all the way around your pumpkin. Once you have covered the outside of the pumpkin, you can flip it on the bottom and just kind of give it a base with a tool. Fix how the bottom looks where all these pieces come together just so that it doesn't look scrappy on the bottom. And then you can do the same thing on the top a little bit, but we're gonna put a stem here so you can just use your tool to make sure this part is pressed down. And then I have some gold. And I'm just going to make a cute little curly stem. I have this tool that I can use to kind of rake some texture into the stem because pumpkin stems are a little bit they have lines in them, growth lines. And they're kind of rough. So I'm just gonna maybe open this up with my tool, flatten it out a little bit so that I'm not grabbing it and smushing it with my fingers. And just stick it here. Maybe give it a little twist. And bake. And then it's up to you whether you want to um, antique it. I do have this color, this um, black flash in the, the same color shift, which is kind of a cool looking antique because it has like a bronzy green in it. But I might just leave this the way it is because the seams will just show the orange through them and but the it's just enough shadowing to really make it look like a little pumpkin so I hope you enjoyed that um, instruction and in how to make a simple armature and this cute little fall pumpkin project and you can come on over to polymerclaytribe.com that's our Facebook group and get some more tips and tricks and share what you make and join lots of other polymer clay enthusiasts and just have a good time. Thanks for joining me on Polymer Clay TV and uh, have a great week.